Right now, you are looking live at the Maryland State Board of Education meeting. This meeting started just two hours ago. There's been a constant battle between parents for and against the mask mandate since it went into effect just weeks after the school year began. There has been some tense moments during this meeting. WJZ's live Paul Gessler is listening in and has more on where school COVID outbreaks have been the highest. Paul. Hey Vic, so you may recall this mask mandate went into effect after the school year had started and some local school districts, two of them, had actually started the year with masking optional. Now today we heard from several parents adamant toward keeping and lifting this school masking mandate set to expire in February. Pandemic is not over. We are still in the thick of it. Now is the time to get back to normal. A split among parents who addressed the state school board Tuesday during its special meeting on their mask mandate. It is time to make masking optional. Now is not the time to step back from any prevention strategies when our children are still at risk. It doesn't matter how many degrees someone has with their expertise and, and medical matters, they are still not qualified to determine what is best. For our children. Health experts testified Tuesday to the effectiveness of masks. As the outbreaks over the past 30 days, um, a lot have gone down. Outbreaks are declining in Maryland school districts. Anne Arundel County leads the state in recent student cases with more than 350 as of last week. It's also resulted in nearly 4,000 students and staff members quarantined. Teacher Janelle Winlow says some students just won't comply. Students won't keep them up and I waste a lot of my instructional time telling them to pull them up which often results in disrespect, defiance and non-compliance. Parents are split on whether masks do more harm than good. There is something sinister and cruel about covering the faces of healthy children. Masking and vaccinations are allowing for the continuation of education for countless children. Now, this virtual school board meeting still has about an hour or so left. We'll keep monitoring that. And while set to expire this masking mandate on February 25th, the board says it will revisit its mandate next month. Reporting live at 4 tonight, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.